Good morning, y'all. Got my coffee here. This has become one of my uh, favorite mugs. It's kind of dirty on the outside because every time I come over here, I drop it. Well, drip coffee on it, but I love Uranus. <laughs> Pretty funny. Speaking of being funny, maybe a lot of you should learn humor. <laughs> um... Man, some some people got pretty upset with my uh, do you want to go on a date video with me. I mean, really and truly, if you couldn't tell the whole time, like I thought it was funny. Humor is like a cool thing that people should probably learn in 2020. Um, I know it, it's one of those. It was it's humor is my favorite pastime. I'll just say that some people whoo, goes right over their head. It's like this mug. I love Uranus. The town is called Uranus. But it's funny because Uranus. Humor. I don't know. I just don't get it. I, I thought most people would... Well, most people did. I'll say that. Most people did. They thought it was funny. They were saying, Oh, I'm married. I don't think my husband would appreciate me going on a date with you. You know, ha ha, whatever. That's funny. Some people, you know, were saying like, oh, you know, ew, you want to go like for an 18 year old, ew, you know, but like joking about it and being like, yeah, chase the cougars, you know, someone even said you had a bobcat, but now you need a cougar, you know, that's funny humor. It's awesome. But some people were truly upset and they're very upset that I want to go on a date right now during all this stuff going on in the world. I never said I was going on a date today. And then some people said it was disgusting that I was going for 18-year-old. I was just saying, hey, if you're legal, it's technically not wrong. I'm going to give you the chance to message me. Doesn't mean I'm going to just go pick an 18-year-old just because I'm like, hey, I'm 18, yeah, the younger the better. Like, come on, people. It's like I even said... You know, I don't care how old you are, from 18 all the way up. You could be 107 years old, and I might be like, hey, maybe. You never know. You know, so I was just leaving the range open. It's like saying, you know, all right, let's go to IHOP, but you can only eat pancakes and scrambled eggs. But you're like, but what if the over-easy eggs are kind of look better today? No. You get scrambled eggs. See, you have to leave it open. That's what I'm saying. Humor, people. Humor. Humor, humor, humor. For all you people that got the humor, I love you more than you probably know. You guys don't give me headaches. You guys get my videos. You guys get me. And that's the thing I just don't understand. When people watch my channel... Most of it is probably humor if you know me. And so I don't I don't understand where people get upset when I put jokes out there. I don't know. That's what I do. And it's like I was watching um Hidden Heights Farm last night. They went live. Which guys, if you don't know them, please go subscribe. Hidden Heights Farm. Uh super cool people and uh become friends of mine. And uh Um, it's funny because Kevin is super serious most of the time. Off camera, he's funny. He's way funnier than I think he gives himself credit for, or he'd be cracking jokes more. Kevin, if you're watching this, crack some more jokes. I know your wife's watching this, so tell him to crack some more jokes. And on that, his wife is always cracking jokes, and she gets destroyed like I do. It's humor. It's fun. It's fun. Humor. <laughs> I don't know. I can talk about this all day. I just don't understand. I think it's just the internet. The internet brings out this whole new group of people that probably don't really get out of the house much. Honestly. I'm not trying to be mean. Just being honest. And they don't under really they don't understand interaction and humor i guess because when you're kind of by yourself a lot you don't get to interact with people and it's hard like face to face to get the humor but 
for me, my personal experience is whenever I go out, you know, Walmart or whatever, I can't just go to the checkout line and not talk to the cashier. That's just not a thing. I can't, there's nothing in me that will allow me to not say something to the cashier. So I have to like talk to them. Most, sometimes I'm just like, hey, how's your day going? You know, hope you're having a good day. Because they sit there all day and some people just don't talk to them. That's rude. So I try to talk to them. But I also think they sit there all day and they always get the, hey, how's it going? Huh, fun day at Walmart, huh? You know, they get the same questions all the time. So I always try to think of like jokes and something something funny to say to them or whatever. Because I want them to think of that like all day while they're at work. And it kind of takes their mind off of work. So humor. I've always wanted to be like a stand-up comedian. I like cracking jokes. That's who I am from an early age. I remember, you know, being in school and thinking something was funny, but I was kind of scared to get in trouble. So I'd tell someone else the joke and then they'd say it and everyone would laugh all the time. And I'm not saying I'm the funniest person in the world. I just enjoy making people laugh. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But it just blows my mind that people take things a little too serious. I mean, we can't. We can't, guys. We have to, especially in a time like now where, you know, the world's already too serious out there and all this stuff is going on. You need some humor. You need to lighten up a little bit. You need to relax a little bit. You know, let's say if today was your time to go because you got it, would you want to go out stressed out and angry and all this stuff? Or would you rather go out smiling and laughing? That's how I would rather go out. So if it were my last day, and it could be, it could be anyone's last day, don't go out taking life too serious. There's times to be serious. But for the other parts, let loose enjoy life, have fun, and just smile. There's nothing wrong with smiling and cracking a joke. So, I'll leave it on that. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I know today was kind of a rant, I guess, if you want to call it that. It's most of my videos anyways, what people say, all you do is talk and rant on the air. Well, yeah, it's copy with the crackers. I'm grumpy till I finish my coffee, and I never get to finish because I'm talking all the time. I get that comment, too. Jason, you talk way too much. I live in the woods by myself, and I talk to a camera for a living. What did you expect? Humor, people. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. See y'all later on the Crockers, and who knows? Might find my dream girl or the Rona. I don't know. We'll see.